Hey, what is up guys? Wicked95 here, and today I got a review and unboxing of the Elite Series 74 Lince Dorado. Now, if you guys didn't see my uh, re my unboxing when I got this uh, figure in the mail with uh, along my Kalisto and my Kofi Kingston, definitely go check that out. I did a haul from Ringside Collectibles. So... Yeah, let's get into this uh, review and unboxing. So, uh, I've been waiting for a while to get uh, Lince Dorado because I wanted to get the Lucha House Party. Unfortunately, they don't have the Grand Metalik in Ringside Collectibles nor Amazon. So, uh, my only hope is that they put them in stock sometime soon or uh, find it uh, out in the wild somewhere maybe Walmart or something but uh, in the meantime I already got uh, two-thirds of the Lucha House Party which is uh, Lindsay Dorado and Kalisto and uh, be on the lookout for the Kalisto uh, review and unboxing here uh, shortly but anyways here's the Lindsay Dorado at least 74 74 here's the front of it you get a uh, pinata comes with the uh, cool uh, like rubber lucha house party um, t-shirt there two sets of interchangeable hands first time in the line for uh, Lince Dorado there you got him on the side here and then here's the other side uh, on the turnbuckle there and then there's uh, his uh, stats and some information here and here is the lineup for this uh, set we got Finn Balor, which I already did a review and unboxing of this. And if you didn't see it, go check it out. It's on my channel. Uh, AJ Styles, Goldberg, Andrade, and Natalia. And I really, really want that Andrade. But um, it's so hard to find right now. Also out of stock everywhere. Hopefully I find it in the Walmart, how I did with Aleister Black. Lucky find there. But uh, let's crack this open. And say Dorado. Go. Let's see how how easy or difficult this uh this is going to be. It looks like we do have a, a tie there in the back. And that's about it, but they're so, so uh, stubborn sometimes, so Let's see how that goes around. Let's uh, begin here with the piñata. Pretty cool piñata right there. Take out his interchangeable hands. One. There's two. Uh, let me back my camera up a little bit. There we go. And the pointing hands, which we already get in like a bunch of different elites as well. The Miz hands, the Booker T hands. Uh, so many, so many do this. So I'm gonna try to take this thing off instead of cutting it off because then it just gets like lost and do I do have carpet so give me one second there try to take it off camera here oh man it's so difficult I am gonna have to use that freaking knife I don't want to damage the figure, so I'm going to go through the back. Ow. Right. If you are using a knife, guys, be careful. I just almost cut myself. As a parent or an adult guardian to help you get this out if you are using a knife. And there you go. There is uh, Lince Dorado. Let's go over um, the rest of Lince because I mean the hands are just 
you know, regular pointing hands, like I said, they come with The Miz, come with Bobby Lashley, they come with uh, Booker T, and then we have these, like, I don't know how you would call these hands, like, open finger hands, I don't know, I don't know how you would call these for that, but, nonetheless, we have those hands, and then this is a pretty cool, the piñata, all hard, it's all plastic, can move it, can bend it. Oh, you can move his hand, his head. That's cool. I didn't think it was going to be able to move. That's pretty cool. Pink, blue, light blue, yellow, black. Really stands out. Pretty cool, pretty sick. Good accessory there. And here we have uh, Lindsay Dorado. Um, they have the Chase variant, and I believe the Chase variant is the like the gold one but honestly I prefer this one I like the black look on Lindsay here pretty cool mask oh it has some the, the, the design in the back here it says uh, Lucha House Party yeah Lucha House Party in the back there nice uh, detailing on the on the shirt on the shirt on the mask then we move on to his uh, sick tattoos here the Puerto Rico flag there on like a I believe that's the Santa Muerte we have uh, this uh, I don't know what that is like figure there he has it on both wrists another cool uh, tattoo there on the side oh there's one in there too with a, the wrist gauntlets has like these like uh, tights that are just like by like his calves and then uh, pretty plain black black uh, short boots um, let's remove the the shirt I'm glad this shirt fits there's some shirts that you get and they don't even like fit or I hate the ones that you have to uh, put them through the side here and those are a pain to put on because they don't even they don't even like get attached or anything so they're just all flappy oh look uh Lindsay has more tattoos here on the back he doesn't have any on his chest but um yeah let's go over the articulation pretty solid articulation here this is how i like my uh figures actually this knee is a little bit loose because if you were to Try to put it down, you bend his knee a little bit. Ab crunch is, is solid, it's not too hard, not too tight. His arms, pretty good. Let's see this other side. Sometimes I get really bad luck with these um, leads, and I have like either the left side or the right side that doesn't go uh, all the way, bends, and like my gender mahal. And look, this one doesn't go all the way down like this one. See? You see that gap? That's a big gap. I don't know why. I don't know if that's like a problem for all elites or it's just my elites or you just get that bad luck. But oh, there's always has to be something with these. Look, look at that gap. Pretty, pretty big gap there but um app crunch up yep, ahead just thing back and forth pretty good overall a sick figure really good figure i can't complain much about it pretty good let's try to put on these uh hands he comes with mic holding hands by the way both of them so i don't see a point of having these on besides the entrance but I don't know what his his entrance his entrance is like like by himself does he do something with these like clawing trying to attack you I guess hands right because he is like a lynx so I guess like scratching I don't know but here's the um, pointing hands for the lucha lucha uh, pose. I don't know how to pose that, <laughs> but um, 
there's the pointy hints but yeah this was a short video on this but um overall pretty good figure i really like this figure i am glad to add it to my collection and like i said i am going to do a review of the Callisto next and then i'm trying to get my hands on that uh grand metalik so i can complete the lucha house party and add it to my um to my roster there finally so be on the lookout for more videos like and subscribe and i'll see you later